what's going down everyone right now a brand new update 1.67 has gone live for apex legends for about 91 percent of you that are brand new that are coming in across this channel hit that subscription bell because there's more patch notes coming towards you my name is matt here at the macgyver 7 channel and today we're going to be ripping apart what the brand new patch note is from respawn and the issues that they had for as far as pushing this out so let's go ahead and roll into it as of two hours ago, all platforms are continuing to recover, but it is still an issue that's persistent, so definitely stay a little steady. But right now, where I pulled directly everything for the patch notes, we can see right over here, and an easy portion of what we're going to go over and starts with the arena. Now, we're going to briefly browse over. As you can see, there's going to be party crashers. There's going to be phrase runners, and this will be linked down below for most people that want to get to it, but I want to get to those patch notes so we can all take a really good look. As we scroll down, we can see Valkyrie being added and a lot of passive. The Boek, which is going to be pretty sweet. Olympus, we have the Lost in the Fleet for the update. These starter kits, and this is where we're going to finally start to get to our patch notes. For as far as the starter kits, they're going to be limited right over there. For what's going to be directly inside of there. And the picture directly right over there. But I feel like that's kind of the cooler things besides the emotes that are going to be coming down for everyone. Now, one cool thing that they had was the anti-perk enable. So as long as you have this, you should be able to see what's going down. As you can see the difference in the two. And sometimes some will be lost, some won't. You know, there's just a difference in for as far as what you can pick nowadays. You can disable and enable that for battle passes, and we are finally getting to our update. Which it first starts off with the profile characters. The low profile no longer exists. The trait has been removed from the Wrath and the Lifeline and Watson. Dev notes, which means we have our developers after our success experiment with the wrath hitboxes we are now confident that we can solve the balancing issues between the smaller and larger legends through the changes the kits and the hitboxes we finally made time for the uh, low profile to get away with the uh doo doo sorry for the dodos like a dodo bird because it still sounds like doo doo to me Anyways, besides them taking it away and them having to fix some stuff, you can see that Lifelines comes into a little bit more of a nicer portion. You can see Combat Revive, Doc, Health the Drones, and the Care Package. More dev notes, which you can take the time to read directly, but let's go ahead and keep this going with the Octane and the Stim for as far as the reduce from 4 to 1 second. Not too bad. 12 to 20 inside is the health for as far as the launch pads. You can see some bullet spreads while the air is shooting through that low launch pad. On top of the low you can see the, the burglar and the best friends you can now run the slide when inside of the Amy the bracelet while the situation is worn in the air the Loba will no longer slow after the translocating for the fixed bugs that cause the bracelet toss to fail and the black market boutique increase the cooldown from 90 to 120 seconds. Horizon and gravity lift the reduced lift speed by 30% the reduce side to side acceleration. Limited time as you can sit at the top of the gravity lift for 2 seconds, increasing the cooldown from 15 to 20 seconds. Horizon's abilities now will be getting zapped from Watson's pylon. Fuse gets the knuckle for as far as get the cluster of that has now two stacks and the knuckle cluster reduced from 25 to 20 seconds. On top of the Bangalore, we have the smoke launcher, thickened Bangalore smoke, so more smoke for everyone in their heart's content. Bloodhound for as far as no longer receives assist from the eye of the All Father, and Crypto inside of the Crypto drones now scan in the open packages and no longer can use the drone to hijack and the respawn in use. Weapon updates come down to a huge portion, as you can see there is a nice little bit description for as far as what they're going to be doing with these situations. For as far as what you can go for the next is going to be supply drops. You can also see that there's going to be crate drops that we're going to be coming down to there for as far as the rebalance and the drape as weapons and the portion of spawns less earlier in the game but more often inside of the mid game and better uh, accommodate it as the power goes on and the triple take is the common early game yet again and prowls more longer later in the game create the weapons so you're gonna get full kit rotations 
you're going to see some more stuff for as far as the added wing, Boeck, R99, Hermlock, Sentinel. They removed the R301, 3030 Reaper, the Mozap Paquette, Longbow DMR, and the Spitfire. On top of the hops up, the shatter caps in the fire for as far as the select toggle in the standard mode for the shatter mode. In shatter mode, the round split into a blast pattern and firing. This hop up well equipable for a 3030 repeater and the uh, Boek. Huh. So, on top of the situations for as far as the dead eye and the tempo and the firing in the perfect moment, increasing the fire rates, they can currently be attached to the sentinels and the boak to make room on top of the hairpin and the skull piercer hops up are being vaulted for now and won't be able assaulted rifles for as far as those assault rifles you can see the reduced headshot multipliers and all assault rifles from 2.0 to 1.7 Peacemaker comes down to a huge list of what has been changed. It comes to the Precision Choke by default, which can be toggled off. Pelt damage reduced from 9 to 10. The rechambers in the increase from 0.9 to a 1.1 second. The reload increase for the regular of 2.5. 4, 5 to a 2.5 and emptied from a 3.35 to a 3.5 across the board. On top of the pelt spread increases for the general and the spread change increase for the charge levels from a 0.65 to a 0.45 to a 0.2 to a 0 0.85, 0 0.65, and 0.3. Quickly loss in the uh, charge after he leaves the ads on top of that for as far as the triple take uh the weapons inside of there come to a nine ammo clip and 63 reserve ammos fire rates from the 1.2 to the 1.23 to basically 1.3 in between that rate depending on if they have that ironed out hopefully it'll be ironed out well and time to a full charge and the reduce for the 1.1 seconds to the one second across just leveling that out retaining the charge in the brief after leaving the ads moving speed while aiming down the sights has been increased to match the marksmanship faster than a sniper slower than an ars increased spreads for the airborne and the aim down sights the havoc increased recoil and the collaterability of early and the pattern for as far as the controllability of that that should be something that will be a little bit more better in that pattern for as far as the spitfire and the recoil and the uh, controllability earlier in this pattern as well 3030 reaper increased the damage multiplayer so the multiplier now is going to go from a 0.75 to a 0.85. Moving speed in the aiming sights has been increased to make the marksman weapons faster than a sniper, slower than an AR. Yet again, on top of that situation, you look outside the G7 scout and the move speed slows down, increases the marksmanship. Again, same thing, except for there is some hip fire spread size. Um, that is a little bit more in line with the marksmanship. On top of the longbow, they increase the multiplier from a 2.0 to a 215. And then you look at what happens with the wingman in the headshot multiplayer and the same exact ratio has gone up a 2.0 to a 2.15. What you can look about for as far as the Mon Zambukik, you can see that the increased magazine from four to six moved the lower pelt in the inward blast pattern and the p2020 increased the bullet damage from 15 to 18 and the lowered fire rate from an 8.5 to a 6.25 arc star and the aiming moving slower removed in the initial stick in the quality of life badges are now inside of that filter um, for all or unlocked only suggestively and directly for players 
they can see what's going down for as far as what they can change now we're going to scroll down just a little bit for as far as the challenges you can see there is going to be a lot more you can see in daily situations you can do for as far as pressing and holding f2 in game to bring it up inside of the character and pc uh, for as far as the players that can request uh, the equipment going into the inventory and the ping for equipment also the challenges reroll the day is free now rerolling the challenges will allow you to choose either a br focused challenge or an arena focused one halo sprays quips emotes can be favorited these well be used whenever the player is prompt to do a random emote club invites for v2 you can now include what you want to play when sending the club mates a party invite via the club tab select those inside of those club mates and invite them over for as far as the ranked and the edge cases inside of the, the abandoned penalties would incorrectly be applied to the due to the server error inside of the patch adjustments they removed the edge drone flight paths preventing the matches where the larger portions of the maps received a little to no traffic these screenshots before and after as you can see what happens for as far as the canyon a little bit more different inside of the trajectory ring update for as far as what you can see and they continue to go on as we crack past 11 minutes and continued inside of the fight night update improving the patch towards the end of the game where they were slowing down in the closing speeds for the rings so the ring four which you can see is pre shink the reduced from 2 to 145 also the reduced 33 to 44 5 for as far as the ring is reduced 20 to 40 for as far as that and then you can see six in the pre-shrink it's 130 to one minute and pre-shrink speed reduced from 140 to two minutes bug fixes as you can see that the bloodhound fixed an issue on top of the issues in the ui inside of the ultimate portions blood finders for as far as the gas trap and the jump pad no longer floating the sky is patched to the zip line wrath for as far as the slight wall bumps no longer and eventually cancel the wrath tactical on top of the mirage the decoy will no longer die after a tick thermal dynamite for as far as the thermite yes it's basically dynamite <laughs> on top of octane for as far as what we can see inside of the ordinance will no longer get stuck and disappear when bouncing inside of the jump pad death totems will no longer bounce when the jump pad is placed under it players will no longer have Weapons drawn if they are knocked as they are entering the fight night ring via jump pad. Update Octane helicopter emotes to correctly remove his leg for which he is using to do. Said the hello chopping. Watson inside of the extended prompt for as far as the fence not appearing in certain situations. And the Hyatt drop skins will long no longer block the view of the reloading in the sentinel loba for as far as the arena inside of the bracelet fells the red skins no consoles for as far as what you can see the red-handed portion of the animation so as far as what you can see as the mobile respawn beacon no longer properly collisions and with the amped cover and jumping on and off inside of the damage Sheila will no longer transfer the flame effect to your weapon for as far as the horizon players will no longer have the weapon to draw if they are knocked out of the fighting arena via the gravity lift times one for halo sight will no longer block the view of certain skins fixed an issue with the new it not getting the refund if immediately due to the bad spots fuse inside of the halo will no longer block the view and certain skins the flat line the part of the iron sight will be displayed over the whole weapon for as far as the supply drops and the prowl will 
now toggle on the fire modes the sentinels moved the tips to the overlapping hop up icon and the fixed graphic issues when swapping the sentinels miscellaneous for as far as menu issues and the advanced look and the options and hidden and the survey beacon will now appear on the map and the teammates in the respawn that's pretty much everything we can look at for every single system it was a very long patch note but hopefully everyone's excited to play this get out there on the battlefield leave a comment down below if you are new to the network you can definitely subscribe it's absolutely free it helps me out as a creator and if you do today hit that notification bell so you can definitely get the next installment that's not going to be as long usually i kind of highlight what's going down but this was such a big update i wanted to cover it for everyone so everyone take it easy i'll see you guys and gals in the near future Stay safe, stay classy, and I'll see you there.